Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the A3U Review. In this episode, we're going to take a look at, uh, what, what are we going to take a look at today? It's a surprise. Surprise? Yeah, it's a surprise for you and you in general. Okay, well, I don't know what it is, but I like surprises. So do I, man, and uh, I know everyone's going to like what we have to show. Okay, well, I'm Alex. I'm Boris. And you're watching the, the A3U, A3U Review. Review. Surprise edition. So before we take a look at this big surprise that Boris has in store for us, we just want to take the time to talk to you guys about something that has been brought to our attention. Yeah, uh, in the last review that we did, we made a mistake on our review of the Scoria. Now, many of you guys have left comments. Thank you very much. And we have taken another look at the Scoria, at the extra pieces that come with it. Now, we had originally talked about Grimlock and how it acts as a backpack for Grimlock, but we were wrong that it only does that. <laughs> uh, I only want to mention this because we judged the scale of it based on that, and we don't think it's completely fair. Uh, I still don't feel like the MP Grimlock is at scale with Scoria in terms of how Dinobot should be scaled to the cartoon, but the feet pieces definitely make it taller and not so dwarfed by the Scoria. So I think it's important to mention that. Yeah, we just want to take the time to acknowledge that and also mention to you guys that when we take a look at the products that we review, most of the time it's our very first look at the figure. So what we're giving you is our exclusive first reaction to the product itself. We just look at it and we're like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you and us, we're all collectors. And when you open a box and you go, wow, that's your first impression. Well, what we gave you is our first impression. Yeah, and that's why, you know, even if we haven't had a chance to look at something, we still review it. Sometimes that first reaction, I agree with Alex, it's great. And I know there are some comments about whether or not uh, I'm stoned all the time. And, <laughs> uh, that is definitely not the reason why I screwed up. It was a legitimate screw up. We had just not seen the Scoria or followed the Scoria up until it reached our store. And to be really frank, I don't think that it mattered. That figure is hot. It's yeah. selling amazingly and rightfully so. It's a very, very good product. So once again, anyone that's kind of on the fence because of the scale, the feet for the MP Grimlock do help it. And it's a real testament to the fact that we really just took a look at it. Yeah, in fact, uh, we were lucky to have one available to review because uh, it was just selling like hotcakes. And speaking of which, uh, you know what? Just because Boris looks that way, <laughs> it's not because he's stoned. That was his genuine reaction, okay? Don't blame him for having Don't a do face drugs. like that. Okay? Don't do drugs. <laughs> exactly, um, yeah. I, sorry man, I gotta go, dude. What, you got something more important to do than, than make a video? This surprise. Uh, I'm going to TFCon. Oh my god, that's your surprise? Oh, crazy. That, wow. That is my surprise. But you know what? I got a lot of cool things to show you, and I'm really excited to show to everyone that's watching this show, too. So I gotta go. Okay. I, I can't, I gotta Wait, go. dude, what am I gonna do here? Uh, well, dude, you know what? I'll Skype you. Okay, all right, all right. And uh, just hang out here. Well, you're gonna be gone for like a couple hey, hours. Alex. Oh, okay, see ya. Well, have fun. I guess I'll go take a nap and then wait for his uh, his ring. Hey! Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, hey, Boris. What are you doing on on a computer? Hey, Alex. I. Uh... I made it to TFCon. You're at TFCon right now? I am here already. Oh, wow! You are at TFCon, this is crazy! This is the biggest Transformers convention in Canada. TFCon's gonna have another one in Chicago in October as well, so super excited, but wanted to give you a preview at what's here. Cool! There's an amazing dealer room, just like, you know, BotCon kind of style. Oh, and I also heard that there's supposed to be some voice actors there. Uh, who can we expect to see this time around? We got Neil Kaplan here. Oh yeah, Neil Kaplan, that's right! Uh, uh, Optimus Prime from Robots in Disguise. There's uh, 
Greg Berger. Oh, Greg Berger, Grimlock. I met him. Pretty cool guy. Sue Blue was also supposed to be here, but unfortunately she broke her leg. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I know I speak for the rest of the fans uh, when I say uh, I hope she gets better. Yeah, I hope she comes back. I mean, she's definitely a fan favorite. Hopefully we'll see her again at some future TFCon. So Boris, tell me how TFCon is different from BotCon, especially for a lot of the people who've never been to any of the conventions. There is a big difference between uh, BotCon and TFCon, uh, and it's not the shameless plugs that happen here. It's uh, more that uh, there's a lot of third-party stuff versus Hasbro. So whereas BotCon likes to announce all the super awesome things coming out for Hasbro, we get to announce the super awesome things that are happening for the third party. <laughs> so what kind of third party companies are going to represent at TFCon? Fans Project, Make Toys, Perfect Effect, you name it, Mastermind Creations, they, they all got some stuff. Okay, well, you gotta show me some stuff. Yeah, let's, I mean, let's walk around the dealer room and then I can show you some of the cool reveals that the third party panel just showed everyone. Okay. Some people are packing up already. It's a two-day thing. Sometimes people stay for the first day. They don't come for the second day. You know, that kind of thing. Hey, show me the big third-party displays. That crowd over there, that's going to be the third-party um, booth. So, you know, Alex, you want to see some cool stuff? Let's go see some cool stuff. Sure. I'm actually behind the scenes here with the Fans Project booth and the Make Toys booth uh, specifically. There's a lot of cool stuff that they revealed. Anything new from Make Toys? Make Toys has this cool huge uh, Scorponok and uh, Utopia as well, the, which everyone saw at BotCon. Uh, but the Scorponok definitely surprised everybody. Hey, what about Fans Project? You have a lot of the Warbot line here uh, with the Steel Core trailer, that's an interesting one. Uh, there's also the Dinobots, uh, the first time a lot of people have seen this. Uh, there was also an exclusive Dinobot for sale. A Fans Project Dinosaur Robot? That's pretty cool. Here is the the Columpio that I was telling you about. It's called what? Columpio? Yeah, Columpio is the name. They, they calling it a Columpio? I know it sounds weird, but uh, that's the name of the dinosaur. Oh, huh, that's pretty cool. It's a little bit mistransformed right now, but people have play, been playing with it. Uh, so this is the convention exclusive. Comes in this cool, like, uh, almost Diaclone inspired box. Uh, really cool. This is uh, exclusive to this convention, so uh, you know a lot of people that picked this up, were, you know, they were super happy to get their hands on it. Hey, can you pick that up for me? Uh, I got one for myself, so uh, I can't wait to open it up and play with it. Hey, I heard from the grapevine that there's supposed to be some Ages three and up fans project exclusive. Is that something that's there at the show right now? Of course, we also had an exclusive of our own the A3U Car Crash exclusive. This was an awesome exclusive. Uh, a lot of work went into this, so you know, I'm ho I hope everyone that got a chance to get it at the con is super happy because it was definitely a lot of love that went into this product. Uh, super happy about it. I need that guy. So yeah, that's kind of like uh, the sneak peek. Uh, I got some people setting up over here and stuff. Dude, you gotta show us some more stuff. We actually gotta get out of here because they're trying to set up some more displays and all that. Don't go, we're just starting. I, you know, I gotta go. I, I can't talk anymore. Aw oh, man, come on. Sorry, Alex. Uh, I gotta go. No, I gotta go. Oh man, he disconnected. Oh well, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Hey! And that's our episode for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we're gonna take a look at the masterpiece. Ah! Whoa, holy cow! What the heck? Where the heck you come from? I literally just flew back from TFCon. Wow! Like, that is impressive. Right under the couch. That was fast. I mean, that was like, holy cow, that's like light speed. I'm really impressed. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think anyone's ever made it to a con and back within the same episode. Well, I'm glad you're back because we're doing the outro right now and you can tell the viewers what we're gonna take a look at next week. Uh, next week, we're gonna take a look at the MP18S. It is Blue Streak or Silver Streak uh, for this version. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, Ages 3 up and also follow us on Twitter at Ages 3 up We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I
I'm watching myself. <laughs>